Hi everybody, welcome back to Learn English with Chef Joanna. Today I'm going to go over some restaurant phrases. Alright, so we're going to try something a little differently here. It's going to be a conversation between two people in a restaurant and I'm going to teach you how to use polite phrases, how to order food, how to ask for special requests, so you are ready to eat in America. <laughs> okay, so I have a menu here. Uh, one of my favorite places. And it's a Brazilian cafe in Los Angeles. And uh, I'm going to play the part of the uh, customer. So I'll be sitting here and then I will get a towel here when I am the waiter. So this will be my waiter and this will be the customer. Okay, so um, what do I like to order? So I'm sitting down with my friends and we're looking over the menu. Oh, okay, yeah, that looks good. Very nice. Breakfast served all day. Wow, that's great. Have some hot sandwiches. Sounds good. Well, it's lunchtime. I think I'll order a hot sandwich. So they have a mixto quente. I guess Brazilian. It's a grilled ham with low-fat cheese, lettuce and tomatoes with some low-fat mozzarella. That's $7.50. That sounds pretty good. Um, so this restaurant's a very casual restaurant, so you have to order at the counter. So um, I'll just go up to the counter and ask the, the cashier for my to give my order. So um, yeah, I'd like a uh, one of the mixto quente sandwiches, the ham sandwich, um, and what does that come with? Uh, is there a salsa with it or a sauce on the side? And um, yeah, it comes with a salsa and uh, uh, some chili peppers on the side and. Uh, would that be okay for you? Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great. I'll have one of those, please. Okay, great. That will be seven fifty. Uh, would you like a drink with that? No, just water is fine. Thank you. Okay, seven fifty. Uh, card. Great. And would you like that for here or to go? Uh, can I get it for here, please? Yeah, sure. Just uh, here's your number, and we'll call your number when it's ready. Uh, just come up to the counter and get your food, okay? We have some water on the side, if you'd like, and some hot sauce over there. Great, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Okay, so that was the first scenario of um, the cashier and the um, customer ordering food. Um, and then my friend could order behind me and then I would go sit down and wait for my number to be called and then go and get my food at the counter. It's pretty easy, right? <laughs> so I'll go over some of the phrases that I use to order the food um, so you can um, be sure that you're using the most polite form when you're ordering food uh, instead of I want this or um, just point and say that or something but of course if that's the best you can do that's fine uh, the first phrase we use a lot is I would like so um, it is uh, the polite way to ask for something so we would say that in a restaurant setting, uh, either for the cashier or for sitting down. So we would say, um, 
I would like the ham sandwich, please. Or can I get the ham sandwich? Uh, those are both very polite forms. Um, and then the cashier would say, sure. Would you like this on the side? Would you like your steak uh, well done or medium well or rare? Um, those are all uh, responses in a restaurant. Um, if we are sitting down at a table and we're waiting to be served, uh, nobody is around, we can try to get the attention of a server and the most polite way is to say, um, excuse me, excuse me, can I get some water? Um, or you can kind of put your finger up depending on the restaurant, if it's a little more casual. Um, you can kind of say excuse me or um, just to get their attention, not say, you know, I don't know what else people say, but excuse me is a nice polite way. Um, so yeah, in ordering the food, you can say I would like or may I have the uh, steak with red wine sauce, please. Um, or may I have, let's see, the um, chicken empanada, please. Um, or may I have the pao de queso. Um, and then if I want the ham sandwich without the cheese in it, um, I can ask, can I get the ham sandwich uh, without the cheese or can I get the ham sandwich with the salsa on the side or the sauce on the side? Um, so if you don't like cheese, you don't like mayonnaise, can I get it without mayonnaise, please? Um, so that would be, you know, if you don't want some salsa or cheese or uh, anything that comes extra on the sandwich. Um, or if you just want nothing else on the sandwich but ham and cheese, can you, you would say, can I get it plain just with ham and cheese? Um, so that would be the easiest way to say that. And um, then what I also, the cashier asks is, would you like it for here or to go? So if you want to sit in the restaurant, um, you're probably going to be paying more because you're paying the service. Um, or it might be the other way around, I'm not sure, but the pricing is different if you get it to go which is you take it away and they're going to pack it up in a package and um, if you just eat in the restaurant uh, you're going to pay a different price and you might have to leave a tip at your table. So the, that is the question um, at all these kind of quick service restaurants. They call quick service restaurants um, Chipotle, Subway, um, it's a step up from fast food. So McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, those are all fast food. And then the quick service, which can be a little healthier, um, would be Subway, um, you know, like all those that I said um, before. And this restaurant is also quick service or sit down. So you can either sit or you can order at the counter. And um, let me ask you a question. Okay, what if you would like the Malibu vegetarian sandwich? How would you ask for that? So in California style, I guess we would say, can I get the Malibu vegetarian sandwich, please? Um, even more formal is, may I have the Malibu vegetarian sandwich? Um, but usually we'd say, can I have the sandwich, please? If you say please at the end, um, 
It sounds polite. Can I have the sandwich, please? Um, you can also say, I would like the uh, sandwich, please. Okay. Um, and what if you get the um, California salad, but you don't know what kind of dressing comes with that salad? How do you ask um, to know more about that salad? So you would say, uh, what kind of dressing comes on that California salad? Or what kind of dressing comes on the California salad? And they'd say, Ooh. they would say, uh, yes, that is a, an Italian dressing. Is that okay? I'd say, mm -hmm. no, do you have any ranch dressing? Uh, no, we don't have ranch, but we do have a thousand island. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. I'll get the thousand island dressing with the California salad. Okay, so that is how you would ask some special things. So, um, what if you'd like to get the, um, I don't know, the pasta and you want to kind of make your own pasta so we have some vegetables and shrimp chicken or fish um, and that will come with a side of bread so practice ordering your pasta that you would like what kind of pasta Okay, so you can say, I'd like the pasta with some zucchini and tomato with chicken on top. So that is, you know, very, very easy common dish, I guess, in America is pasta with grilled chicken. Uh, it's very popular because it's kind of healthy. Um, the grilled chicken is not fried, so that's a common dish um salads of course in california are gonna be very common we have the venice venice beach salad which is green salad tomatoes hearts of palm homemade dressing and topped with shrimp or fish or grilled chicken breast uh, because they're brazilian they have a bunch of empanadas which are, it says here, turnover shaped crust prepared with buttermilk, flour, stuffed with ground beef, and lightly deep fried. So they have a chicken empanada, they have ground beef or cheese, and um, that's for that. And what kind of drink would you like? So we have cappuccino, Brazilian coffee, Espresso, Guarana, um, by the bottle Coca Cola or Fanta, mineral water, the Saint Tropez, which is grenadine and fresh lemonade. Grenadine is the red syrup with lemonade. House CK, which is passion fruit juice mix with sugar cane juice. Paradise iced tea with fresh lemonade, tropical fresh mango and passion fruit juice with grenadine, and the acai smooth. They also have fresh squeezed juices and variations, lemonade, mango, passion fruit, uh, orange, and sugar cane. And those are the drink lists. So did you find a drink that you like? How would you ask for that? I'd like the Brazilian coffee, please. But I'd also like to try the passion fruit juice. Okay. So that's basically ordering from a menu. The key phrases to take away are, can I have this, please? 
Um, I would like the pasta, please. Does this have or does this come with sauce? Salsa? Can I get it without the sauce or the salsa? And when they ask, would you like it for here or to go? Um, for here, please, or to go, please. So those are the basic, oh yeah, and also excuse me when you are um, trying to get the waiter's attention or need to ask something um, from the cashier interrupting them. Okay, so those are the phrases for the restaurant. Hopefully it helped you out. I hope that you get the chance to eat in America, use these phrases, and just test your English skills, have fun with it, try the different foods here, pasta with grilled chicken or salad in California, and I uh, hope to see you in uh, California one day. All right guys, thanks for watching. And any questions, please leave it in the comments below.